Hi friend, summer is slowly nearing its end here in England. I see it in the odd golden leaves on the trees which are now slowly changing its color, in the chalk signs near English pubs which call for Christmas lunch bookings, yes, from the first days of September. And I feel it in the cold morning wind which chills me to the core as I open the doors of my garden. I started drinking tea during the day, a habit I haven't actually adopted since moving to England. I am still more of a coffee person, but chilled September days call for something herbal and cozy. In fact, part of me is glad that summer is over. I love the melancholy of autumn, the season that makes me feel deeper, dream bigger and experience life in all its rawness. It's the time when life, it seems, has come full circle, when life sheds its beautiful exterior to be reborn again, perhaps better and more beautiful next season, when things become still, coming to an end just before the new beginning. At the end of summer I ventured out into one of the most beautiful areas in England, well, in my opinion. Peak District met us with mild weather, even despite the occasional gusts of wind, and serene fields full of grazing cows and sheep. We walked many paths through the pastures, fields and woodlands which to my surprise were always open to public. I've learned that there is a law in England that gives you rights to roam across some of the country's beautiful landscapes though actually it's only 8% of the land that is openly accessible by the public. There is this Crow Act, Countryside Rights of Way, which allowed people in the country walk freely across the countryside without the fear of trespassing on someone's private land. The right to roam is a custom that existed since the ancient times in many countries, which allowed anyone to walk on land regardless of whether it's private or public, as long as you treat the land with respect and dignity and do not interrupt its natural functions, agriculture and ecology. I find this message to be very beautiful, the desire to create the relationship between people of England and the natural environment, where you are allowed to not to only be the observer of the natural world, but an active participant, intertwining the smells, sights and sounds of nature into our own concrete and metal-filled lives. Perhaps it's partially due to that same concept, I myself decided to move to the countryside and fill my life with experiences I used to observe from afar for the longest time. But I also realize how much responsibility we humans have to bear when nature gets opened up to us, how carefully we have to treat it and how respectful we ought to be to the earth and every corner of our world that becomes accessible to us. Whilst it is a beautiful concept, I realize how problematic it may become all at the same time. For now, I am grateful for that 8% of this vast land that I am able to access and see with my own eyes the grass I feel underneath my feet, the edible fruits I pick on the wild forest walks, and the sounds of birds I get to wake up to. Which all make me feel like I am also a character in a book or a movie. 
perhaps written sometime in the 19th century. I've also come to realize, through my own observations and comments of people who know me or watch my videos, I somehow end up making everything look very dramatic. In fact, I am a highly sensitive person who can't just simply stop looking at the world through the prism of her emotions and coloring her surroundings with the moods experienced at that exact moment. I add music and colors to my videos and any visuals that I create the colors that remind me of the moments that I've lived through. Why do I make everything look so dramatic? Certainly I'm not living a fairy tale I portray through these images, and certainly I don't spend the days, at least every day, running through fields with wind in my hair and luscious grass on my fingertips. My life is full of routine, days that are sometimes good, but also bad other times, filled with worries and anxieties. In fact, like most, I spend most of my days looking at the screen, typing vigorously something on my computer, procrastinating sometimes, creating at every possible moment. But amidst that routine, there are moments that are so full and colorful. And what I show to you here are the colors I see whenever I indeed am running through the fields or inhaling fresh countryside air. I remember those moments vividly ingraining them in my head for the times when routine overtakes my everyday. When the real-life problems emerge, when I am questioning the things like whether it's good or bad that the countryside and all the beautiful nature walks became accessible to humans, because I indeed question everything. But I remember all these moments like a movie, a beautiful, melancholic and emotional one. And I remind myself of a phrase Hitchcock once said, drama is life with the dull bits cut out. And perhaps sometimes all it takes to make life more beautiful is intentionally acting on it.